from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Monday, September the 21st, 2020. Israel's Defense Minister Benny Gantz is heading to our nation's capital to meet with his American counterpart, Mark Esper, and other senior officials at the Pentagon. Gantz tweeted, as part of my efforts to maintain Israel's security superiority, I am embarking this evening on a 24-hour security mission in Washington, writing that his meetings will be to ensure that our quality advantage is maintained and will also deal with the Iranian threat. Gantz's U.S. visit likely has to do with talks of the U.S. possibly wanting to sell F-35 fighter jets to the United Arab Emirates after the signing of the Abraham Accords, normalizing ties between the UAE and Israel. Israel has expressed opposition to such a deal that could threaten its military edge in the region. And earlier today, Gantz ordered the IDF to prepare a field hospital with 200 beds for coronavirus patients as the COVID-19 cases continue to grow in the country. And at least two major hospitals said they're already at full capacity. The two men said to have aided in the suicide bombing attack in Burgas, Bulgaria, eight years ago that left five Israeli tourists and their Bulgarian bus driver dead were sentenced in absentia to life in prison. The two who have Lebanese roots are believed to have links to Lebanese-based, Iranian-backed terror group Hezbollah. They were charged in 2016 as accomplices to the suicide bomber. They fled Bulgaria after the attack and were sentenced today in absentia to life in jail without parole, guilty of terrorism and manslaughter. Turning now to some sports news, Jewish Argentine tennis pro Diego Schwartzman advanced at the Italian Open this weekend. Schwartzman beat out Spanish tennis champ Rafael Nadal in the quarterfinals on Saturday, which was a major victory for him as he has lost to Nadal the last nine times he's played him. Schwartzman also beat Tel Aviv-born Canadian Denis Shapovalov yesterday, but ultimately lost in the final match today to Serbian player Novak Djokovic. And in entertainment news, the Emmy Awards were held last night, recognizing the best television shows, though in a uniquely different virtual format this year because of the coronavirus pandemic. Nominees were in their living rooms and such on live feeds waiting to hear if they won. Jewish winners included Eugene Levy and son Daniel Levy for their work on Schitt's Creek, which swept the night with seven wins. Also, Jewish actress Julia Garner won Best Supporting Actress in a Drama Series for Ozark, and Jewish screenwriter Damon Lindelof won Outstanding Writing in a Limited Series and Best Limited Series with writing partner Cor Jefferson for Watchmen. Israeli actress Shira Haas of Shtisel fame was nominated but did not win for Netflix's Unorthodox, though the show did win a directing honor for Maria Schroeder. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Monday, September the 21st at 7 o'clock. It's The Wisdom of Dr. Ruth. At 7.30, Roberta Grossman discusses her film, Who Will Write Our History? about Jewish life in the Warsaw Ghetto. That's on Jewish Cinema Tech with Eric Goldman. At 8, Rabbi Irving Yitz Greenberg and Rabbi Shlomo Riskin offer interpretations of the global pandemic and offer suggestions on how to respond to this crisis in a Jewish way. That's by the Center for Community Education and by Cultural Hebrew Academy of Connecticut. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with Rabbi Robert Walkoff, who talks about the existence of God and how he understands God's impact on the world. At 10, Rabbi Harold Kushner speaks at the 92nd Street Y. And coming up next, it's Good Week, Israel. Well, we end our newscast with the passing of an icon. U.S. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg died Friday on the eve 
of the Jewish New Year at the age of 87 after battling cancer. Born in Brooklyn, New York, Ginsburg was the second woman and the first Jewish woman to serve on the nation's highest court. She told the American Jewish Committee back in 1993 after her appointment, I am a judge born, raised, and proud of being a Jew. The demand for justice runs through the entirety of Jewish history and Jewish tradition. And Jewish organizations hailed Ginsburg for her fierce advocacy for gender equality and her staunch defense for the rights of women and minorities. President of the World Jewish Congress, Ronald Lauder, said as we enter a new year, may her courage, resilience, and wisdom guide us all. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu called her one of the great judicial leaders of our time. Israel's President Reuven Rivlin called her a passionate champion of justice, democracy, and equality under the law. Inspired by the moral imperative, Tzedek, Tzedek, Tirdof, justice, justice shall you pursue. The body of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg will lie in repose at the Supreme Court Wednesday and Thursday and then lie in state at the Capitol building on Friday. The first Jewish person, by the way, to be bestowed with such an honor. She will be buried next week at Arlington National Cemetery. May her life and work serve as an inspiration, and may her memory be for a blessing.